Mm -hmm. by Nikki. I am here today with um, a dirty lens. Hold on. Okay. All right. There we go. Well, hello there, everybody, and welcome back to Musings by Nikki. I am back today. We're going to work on our um, floral. It looks like I have a big mess on my desk, but I don't. It's actually contained in my project basket. <laughs> But from the top down, I'm just looking at it going, you know, I've been starting all my videos with a messy desk. And so then I was so proud of myself that I had this nice, like, you know, organized basket here today. And then I realized from the top down, it just looks like I have a messy desk again. But whatever. You'll have to trust me on this one. <laughs> so I have all of this stuff. I, I worked on, I had a couple of, like, rough days with my chronic fatigue business. So um, I, look at this. I worked through the vintage one and got all of the pages. The signatures are now done, except I found this one label that I need to find a home for. But apart from that, this one's ready to be bound. Um, because I decided that in order to not just drag this out forever, because I've got a lot of other fun stuff I want to do, <laughs> um, that we'll just finish this one together, since that's the one we've kind of been working on um, in my video series on this journal anyway. So... Um, let's unpack what we've got here today. I think we're at the point. So those are all my edge strips. And then these are, oh yeah, so these are the things for like tops of ribbons um, and whatnot. This little, a lot of times I just put all of the ephemera into like a folded over piece of, of uh, paper just to kind of contain it in one place. And then we've got all of our like the pockets and things that we've made so far and our tags and the kit pieces. So we've got that and we've got our actual signatures here. Oops. And then I've got all the clusters that we made. So I've got all my little clusters and then I've got, I'm gonna leave those in there. And then I've got um, the napkin stuff, right? Remember ye old fabulous mod podging video good times good times so we've got that stuff too so i think we're at the point where we need to just start loading things into the signatures <clears throat> and let's see i'm gonna try and keep all of this at hand but not sip, sippy okay i'm gonna try and keep all of this to hand but not overflowing <laughs> so if you remember last time we made we made the like notebooks for the backs of the signatures and then we did some flip outs some big flip outs for the insides of the signatures so and we did these pockets on the fronts of the signatures if you're interested in those there's a video for that if you haven't seen it so now we're ready to just start going through and this is usually how I kind of do this stand up um I look at my pieces and I kind of in my head spread them out through you know I've got five signatures so the things that tuck in I don't need those right now because those will go in later so these are all those are all these are all tuck things but I did use in the other journal, and I think I'll use them this way as well here, I did use these as pockets. You get a page of four of these with my kit. So you can choose to use them as um, journaling cards or you can use them as pockets, and that's probably what I'll do here. So I'm gonna put them in my pile of pockets and things that we need to sort through. And we'll put our envelopes in. And then in here I used these as little tuck spots so we'll use those we've got a couple of these remember that I punched out in one video um, oh we've got these little library pockets so those have got to find a home 
And then I've got, oh, I've just got some off cuts of paper back in here and stuff too. So this stuff could be, if we find a place that we need like a belly band or something like that. And then these two um, giant tickets, I used them as tuck spots in the other journal. So we'll do that here as well. And then let's look at these because some of these, so some of these, this like these pieces could be, we'll definitely want the envelopes because we'll find homes for those. Not these, these are all just things that'll tuck in. So that'll go over here for now. We don't need that, that's a tucking in thing. Those are those. And so these, I think I'll use these things inside of envelopes. Cause like we've got several envelopes. So these will be good like journal cards to have inside of those. So let's maybe just put them in there now and see if they fit while I'm actually thinking about it. These are the ones that I did fabric, Mod Podged fabric on top of um, some coffee stain note cards and they turned out really, they feel really cool. Yeah, that fits perfect in there. Okay. So then we'll see, this one should fit in here. It just depends because I sewed around the edges of these. So it depends on how tight, how tight in I sewed. But those actually fit like perfectly inside of those envelopes. So that's good. <coughs> Part of me, I'm still suffering through my allergies. And yes, I'll preempt the, the questions. I do take allergy medicine every day. <laughs> the other day I had such a strange, just a few times a year, I get some like really strange allergy thing that creeps out, you know, pops up out of nowhere. That'll fit. Um, and I end up having to take my inhaler. Now this one is gonna be too tall. Yeah, this one's gonna be too tall, so maybe what we'll do is use that as a pocket and will one of these fit? Yeah, so we'll do that. Let's put, I like that butterfly one. Let's put this in there. Okay, so now we've got pockets, we've got library pockets, we've got some tuck spots, we've got some things that we need to find homes for in the signatures. Anyway, I had this allergy thing pop up on me and it crept, you know, that creeps out of nowhere and I, all of a sudden I have a hard time breathing so I had to take my rescue inhaler. It's always a little nerve wracking when you suddenly can't breathe. Okay, so we've got these things. Now, here's kind of what I do in my head because I've got five signatures. So I, I know I don't, if I go in and start finding pages for these things in the first one without kind of parsing them out, I'll end up putting like, you know, five pockets in here. And then by the time I get to the last signature, I have nothing left. So I kind of make five little piles. And so I'll do that. I have five envelopes. So, you know, that's a good start. We'll put an envelope in each signature. And then I've got five library pockets, two mini ones, and three, or three mini ones and two big ones. So we'll go like that. Then I've got three of these tall, skinny pockets that we made. So we'll put those in those three. Um, and then I've got two of these doilies left. So we'll put those in the, here. And let's see, I've got four of these like pocket things. So we'll go one, two, three, four. And in the other one, we'll put a ticket and a, what do you call those things? I never know what to call them, but anyway, we'll put one. And then we'll just choose two random places for the other ones. So now we have five piles. And I'm going to do what with these? Put them over here. <laughs> we'll leave that one out. We'll just deal with that one first. 
Okay. And we'll take our first signature. And at the same time that I'm doing this is usually when I'm, you know, kind of deciding which pages will get like little edge treatments and stuff because um, I put tabs in the other one just because, I don't know, I wanted some. We'll see if I want some in here. If I do, I think I'll make them out of this these two sari silks because they're these real bright, fun colors. And I think a bunch of tabs out of that would be fun. So what I'm kind of thinking through here is which pages would get something on the side because if they get an edge treatment like, you know, something like this, then I'd have to either include a tab in that, otherwise I'm putting a tab down here. Well, I put tabs as an afterthought in the other one and don't mind how it turned out, but um, if I do these, I wanna kind of be a little more intentional. So now we're looking for pages to put these things in and those I'm going to usually find spots where, oh, I said in the last video, I gotta sew these shut. <laughs> um, so I'm usually looking for pages, if there are any standout pages that like definitely look like pages you couldn't journal on because they're too dark or too heavily patterned or something, because I try to leave the ones free, you know, or open that are, but none of them, I mean, this, this is, you could even write on this, but maybe we'll use some of these dark, dark, um, that dark blue page to put some on. So let's go ahead and say, we'll put, a pocket there and on this one we will put let's see we'll make this into a pocket like a tuck and so we'll do those two on there yeah so I'm going to take that out of my signature and I am I'm sewing in this book so I will probably, let's see, do I want it off the side or on? I'll probably leave it on and I'll just do sew around the edge like this and leave the top open for a, a spot. And then this one, I'm going to glue in, oops, the corner of my paper is folded up there. I'm gonna glue it in and I'm only gonna glue this side and this side so that it can be a tuck spot as well. So let's move that out of our way so I don't glue everything. Hope you guys are doing good. We're getting a little bit of sunshine today, which is a welcome thing. It's been kind of gray and rainy again for several days. But you know, they don't make things up like April showers bring May flowers. They don't make stuff up like that if it's not something that happens all the time. So April showers for sure. That holds true here in Minnesota. Okay, so now it's a pocket, right? The library pocket here, but it's also a tuck spot back here. So it's all good. I filled up my glue bottle so I would actually have glue because it was down to like zero nothing. Um, now as I am doing this I think on well so on these sorry I had I had a moment a deep thought moment. Um, I think if I do decide to come put tabs in I can put one up on the top of this page here and I could put one over here on this side too. So I'm going to sew around the edge of this and while I'm over there I'm going to take that um, little pocket sheet here. I'm going to take that and sew it shut too. So I'm going to sew the edges of this so it becomes a little pocket here. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna sew this onto the page and I'll be right back. Okay, so I decided to take that stitching all the way along the whole edges of this because I thought it would be cute and yep, I like it. So that goes back in here. And then this page goes back in here. So now that's just sewn and it turns into a, um, tuck spot, right? A pocket there. 
All right. <clears throat> so I feel like this edge is definitely in need of something. And I love, I'm loving this splattery, you know, paper towel from when we were water painting, watercoloring. So I think I will, um, I think I'm gonna sew it on because I think if I glue it, because it's paper towel, I'm afraid that it's gonna like bleed through and get all weird looking. But if I remember right, yeah, there's a flap on the back side of this too. But before I go and let's come up with several sewing projects before I just keep going over to my sewing machine. I should have my sewing machine here somehow for this. But like, look at how cool that is, right? This just ripped up paper towel from when we were, let's just see what happens. You know what, maybe we, well, let's just see what happens. If I just be very cautious with the amount of glue, it shouldn't soak through too much, right? Oh, it's not soaking through. There we go. Well, then we can do this one too. And this one I was kind of like ruffling, but you can still ruffle it and glue it on. Ooh, Main Street's busy right now. It's hopping, guys. It's lunchtime. But it's lunchtime, but one of the cafes in town had to close down for a week. Not because of the Rona or anything, but because the um the owner, it's the one where Lizzie works, and the owner, the owner's daughter just had her baby. And when you're the the owner and the cook and the sole proprietor, you you had to close down when things like that happen. So she I think opens back up tomorrow. But yeah, gotta love it. I love our small town. Earlier today, I was just out to a local farm to one of the sweetest women that you'll ever meet on the whole planet. She's the coolest. Um, and she owns a greenhouse. They, they, they raise beef cattle and they farm and stuff, but they also, she has a greenhouse and grows, oh my gosh, the most beautiful baskets ever. Um, you know, while I'm doing this, I'm gonna pull out, remember I had all those little fussy cut butterflies and I think I still have some, yeah. I'm gonna have those out because things like that, we can just glue one of these on while we're a gluing. So I was out to the farm to pick up, um, she has strawberries, O-M-G. I got a big flat of strawberries and I'm pretty sure that they're already half gone and I've only been home for, yeah, see, cute, right? And I've only been home for, uh, like 20 minutes and uh, I brought him in the door and the girls and I sat down and you know ate a bunch and I said we better stop or we're gonna have digestive issues later on <laughs> they're so good and she gave me some Swiss chart it's like the it's like the first taste of spring you know oh you wait so long you wait so long especially in these like cold climates can I get a witness? You wait so long. So those first strawberries, those first fresh berries that come like out of someone's actual garden or out of a out of a greenhouse. Oh, locally grown. Yum. But I was also out there and I got to visit my she's growing some hanging pots for me. So I got to visit and say hi to them. <laughs> make sure, make sure they're feeling happy about their life. I'm gonna put one more up there because it's cute. So now I'm, I've am i been out to the greenhouse to pick up our strawberries and ate a bunch of those and visited my ferns. And now I'm quick crafting because Joy has a track meet. It's track season now, right? We done with basketball. We've got these other things to put in here. So let's find a place for those. Um, done with basketball. Now we are on to 
<clears throat> I think I'll put this other one here. Here. Now we've moved on to track and she, uh, again, Joy has, Joy's my 13 year old, has never been a shot putter or a discus thrower ever in her whole life, but decided that that would be something she'd like to try because it was either that or softball. And if you've heard me say in my previous videos, Joy told me that, uh, that it was either softball or track and softball requires a mitt and coordination, which that was her reason why she wasn't going to do it, which I find hilarious because you can't tell me that throwing a shot does not, or a discus, those things require coordination too. <laughs> anyway, she's, she's, a, so she'd never even picked up a discus or a shot before a few weeks ago, much like our basketball adventures this year. She's just going in blind. Um, I'm going to put a butterfly here because how cute is that? But we're putting some of Dee Dee's purple. Oop, oop. cheesecloth behind it. This is just the most cheerfulest book right now. So she's got her first meet and she found out that she can compete in varsity even though she's only in eighth grade. Um, she just has to sign up for varsity level events. So she's She's not only having her first track meet today, but it's not even at the junior high level. She's competing at the varsity level. This feels like a double layer. But I can't figure out how to separate it and I don't want to just like yank. So we're just gluing down a double layer and I'm okay with that. So she's doing her first meet today at the varsity level. So this will be fun. And it's an hour and 20 minutes away. It is as close to the Canadian border as you can get. Like when we went up there last time for a basketball game, it told me that um, that your, your cell phone plan allows you to roam for free in Canada. Welcome to Canada. <laughs> I was like, I'm not, I'm not all the way there. Couldn't go there if I wanted, the border's closed. There we go, that's cute. All right, now we were back here and we were spying a place to put, so let's just decide, we're just gonna put this envelope over here and I should grab a few um, paper clips, right? Right? No, 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 no. Oh, look it. I've got a couple of purple ones. One's bent way out of shape, though. But how cute are those? Um, my drawers, guys, of paper clips, like, exploded when we were moving. And I've probably said this before. I still haven't cleaned them up. So they're kind of a hot mess. So pardon me as I sort through my hot mess and find some paper clips. Yeah, I need Joy to come in here and mess with this because she's the organiza organizational queen. How in the world did that happen to the <laughs> this paper clip? It is mauled. It has bent all kinds of, that's a lost cause. Okay, let's pick this bright purpley fuchsia one. Okie doke. Cute, that works. Then we've got our ticket left. So maybe that's a flip there. So should we put our ticket like, I don't know, let's put a, our ticket here. And we can put it, if you glue really carefully along the edges here, it ends up being like a belly band. So that's how we're gonna do. But I'm gonna, in the interest of not just making it be flat straight across, I'm gonna kind of angle it just to vary it a little. Okay. 
There we go. So that one has all the pieces in it, right? Um, all the envelopes and things. Now I'm trying to decide if I should just go through. <coughs> yeah, you know what? We're just gonna go through the signatures and do that first. And then we'll work on like putting the edge stuff in and clusters and whatnot. So let me get another pile. Here's a pile. So in this goodie bag, we'll put, there we go. We're gonna put a pocket right there. And on the other side of that, we'll put, <coughs> pardon me, one of these long skinny guys. That one's gonna glue in. And I kind of feel like if we glue just the top and the bottom, we could slide something in behind it too, huh? So let's try doing that. And maybe I'll remember I did that and maybe I won't, but But at least it'll be a pocket. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I'm trying to quick craft here. Quick, quick film some video, quick craft. And because we've got to leave early enough because it's way the heck out in Canada, almost. That pocket I will sew on. Let me see. This one needs, this one needs sewing too. Let me make sure there's nothing else in here that I need to sew no and those i'm not going to sew on so i'm going to go do that sewing really quick and i'll be back okay so pocket sewn on right and we've got our belly band pockety thingy majigger on the back and then i just sewed across the bottom and the top here and then that makes these into little pocket tuck spots as well so let's put that back into our signature. So now we've got our that and our that. And we've got an envelope and a library pocket to find a home for. We could do our envelope over the middle of the signature here. That's so bright and colorful. Okay. And then somewhere in here, I guess, we'll just do, we'll do this little library pocket down here. And I will glue it in as a tuck spot again. Just because I think it provides extra little spots. And sometimes, you know, I always tell myself this, but I never actually abide by it. But you don't you don't have to fill every tuck spot as you're making a journal. You can leave places for like people to tuck their own things in, but I tend to want to fill them all. I don't know why. It's just my thing. Okay. The bottom of this pocket needs a butterfly. Yes, indeedy, it does. And some of this and not my hair in it, because that's gross. Yeah, that is definitely a double layer of this. I just don't know how to get it off. And I don't want to separate it and make a big mess out of it, because that'll just like pull the, it's such a wide weave, it'll just pull the strands of the cheesecloth fabric actually out. So we're just giving her, giving her a good dose of glue So that it can, and because of that, it's all the little pieces are coming out on my fingers. Okay. So that's that one done. Then let's pull out another. So this pile, we've got a large library pocket, a doily, and this pocket, and then this guy and an envelope. That, this page would definitely be harder to write on. So we can put a pocket in there. 
That one I might just glue down all the way, kind of in the middle there, because we've got some edge. Don't, you know, don't ask me why, like what my logic is between why do I glue some down as tuck spots and why do I glue some down all the way? I don't know. Sometimes the book just speaks to me and that's what it wants or that's what it looks like there. And this one's saying it just wants to be a pocket right in the middle of this page to kind of balance this printed page out too. And, and then it's happy. So let's go to the other side of that dark blue and put, ooh, this would look pretty. This blue doily. Yeah, because look at blue, blue, blue. I love how this lays out nice. So I am going to sew that on, but let me find where we're going to put the other pocket um, because we have this one that I want to use as a pocket and then I can sew them on at the same time. Oh, and it's got this little middle piece that needs to be sewn again. So we'll put that over in the sewing pile. <gasps> I forgot about this. Oh, this yummy. Oh yes. I love how that looks by the way. Just, just let's take a moment to appreciate how pretty those butterfly wings look like delicate underneath this crinkly paper. Yep, that was just a little moment of happiness brought to you by Crinkly Paper. Um, let's just put one of these right in the middle of the, right in the middle of the signature. So I'm gonna sew that, and this guy, oh, that's a big one we're dealing with there, and this guy. I'm gonna go sew all of those and I'll be back. All right, I done sewed all the things. I done sewed them. I did the pockets. I, there's the back side of this one. So that's the doily pocket. And then I sewed the middle signature piece. Now I have to remember where they go. This one goes here. And I have no idea where this one goes, but we'll put this one back in the middle because we know that goes there. For sure. And I feel like this, this one was toward the beginning. Maybe, maybe not. We're going to put it, let's just put it. No, because I really just like the way that looks. We'll put it here. This might be where it was anyway. Okay. Oh, we still have the, we still have the envelope. So let's put the envelope in the middle sig of the signature to, so we've got this and we'll have this. We'll go like so. And then we've got this guy. And where are we going to put you? I wonder if we can put them in the back of one of these. This one was bigger, I think. Yeah, why not? I think these are so cute and they work good for like little spaces like that. Um, they work good as little tuck spots down in the corner too if you back them with something. Because otherwise, you know, you get hung up on all the little slots. But I like how these greens echo each other. Okay. So that's that one. Now let's do this one. I hope I need another pile of ephemera. Here we've got a ticket, a pocket, a tall long one, an envelope and a mini library pocket. So this is a good candidate right here. Does this need sewing? Yep. So we'll pull that out because that needs sewing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, and then this middle one. That's a good. Let's put this. We'll put the. Come here. We'll put the envelope on half of it. And then we'll put the. 
flowers. Which 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 direction do they go? Is it like that? You have to try and look for the shading, but sometimes in like the watercolors, I think I think I'm gonna put it like that. Um, you can't really tell sometimes. So I'm, I know I'm gonna sew that middle one, and then let's go back to that first sprayed page here, and let's go mini library pocket there as a tuck spot. And it's gonna need a little butterfly down there. I just know. So let's get some of my wonky doubled up cheesecloth. Yeah, nope, I can't do it. So it just is what it is. Let's find Yeah. I love when a book starts coming together. Like, I don't know. There's something very satisfying about when you start putting the, the pieces and the stuff that you've made into your book and you see how everything kind of matches and all the vision that you've had as you've been creating the different pieces. When you start putting them all together into the signature, it's like just so satisfying. And I, I love how this now yellow plays off of the yellow on this page like just when you collect all the little bits and pieces and now you're actually putting them together I I love how that is it does not just happen every time I will tell you that there are times where I'm like uber frustrated um the back side of that already has a flip out so we need to find a spot for that tall pocket and the ticket Oh, remember this has printing on it? We gotta cover that up. You know what, I'm gonna do it right now or I will totally forget. So it's getting a gluey one of these guys. Will that cover it? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Otherwise I'm totally gonna forget you guys that I'm gonna, I'll go through this whole thing and you know, Someone, someone will buy it and I'll send it off to them and they'll be like, oh, look it. There's like printer edge writing on there. So while I'm looking at it and it of course needs a butterfly. Yep, it surely does. Anyway, when I was putting together that other one, the vintage -y, the same book, the same, you know, these are my kits, the watercolor kit, but it's the, the vintage watercolor flowers. And when I was putting it together, I just, I kept getting tickled. I was so excited. It was, it was just coming together well, and I was really liking it. Um, let's see, I'm trying to decide. We're gonna sew that in there. Let's just put a pocket here maybe. Oh, let's put a ticket there. And I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it as a belly band. Yeah, these, come on, S stay on your side. Quit doing the most. Okay, so that's going in there. And then maybe on the back side here, we'll put this pocket in. And this one I'm just gonna glue in all the way on. I am um, in my haste to get into videoing today. I left on my giant hoodie that I was wearing outside when I ran over to the farm and I didn't put on an apron. So I'm doing the gluing and the sewing and the things with the giant hoodie that keeps wanting to like come out here on the table <laughs> and nothing to protect it from the glue and the ink and the strings and all the things. I was just so excited to get some video -ing. 
videoing done. Oh, this side has it too. What was I doing? I, I think I remember saying like, oh, it's okay, I'll just cover it up. So I'm gonna sew. I'm gonna sew this on there just because I know I need. I'll, I'm gonna do the end edge trims in a little bit here, but I need to do it now, or I I just don't want to forget. I just don't want to forget. And where was I gonna? Remember, didn't I have a pocket somewhere? Oh yeah, in the middle. <laughs> out of sorts crafting today. Sometimes I have hot mess crafting. Sometimes I have out of sorts crafting. That's what this is. I'm gonna sew the pocket, sew this edge thing on there, and then sew this little guy shut. And I'll be back. Here we go. I sewed that shut. And I love that ruffle, OMG, I am excited to put more of those on. And now I have to remember where all these things go. Like, like that. And like this can go in here. And then that was the other one was the middle of the signature there. Okay, so all those elements are in there. <clears throat> Last one, we've got a pocket, a mini library pocket and a long paper sack. Let's put one pocket on. I don't like the way that looks on that page. Let's do that one. And we'll do it long and skinny and glue it all the way down. So after this, I'm going to start putting on my edge trims and <clears throat> my clusters that we made and then probably some tabs out of that sari silk okay and let's flip to the back side of that we could put our yeah that looks cheerful there And we've got another one that needs to be sewn shut. Ooh, and we've got the other crinkly paper. So fun. Oh, and then another real dark center of the signature. So we can definitely put these guys. I'm just gonna glue that flat down and put this here. Does it need something else? This is a tall envelope that uh, came from Dee Dee. And I'm kind of wondering if it, I hadn't like found a home for it in here yet. But I kind of wonder if we should maybe like do something with it in the middle of this signature. Because it's open on this end, so that could be an envelope. And we could open it on this end and make that into a, um, like cut it the edge and make it into a tuck spot as well. Let's do that. So I'm just gonna cut a real thin layer off the end there and that should open it up like like so and then I'm gonna grab my hold on reaching um my big two and a half inch punch and I'm gonna put a punch in half not through the whole thing so I'm gonna go try try to center it as best I can 
Okay. What? Maybe we just put that in here as a... Because it fits there. So we do that and then I'll put some some trims along the edges here yeah let's do that okay we're gonna glue this down tuck pockety style that's a technical term tuck pockety style sorry if I'm using big you know jargon <laughs> but made up junk journaler language Okay, and I really want to give this a better crease. It wants for some burnishing. Okay, so I like that. I like that. And maybe this gets a little cluster or something back here, and then I'll put some trims there and it'll make it a nice little vignette and probably some butterflies on the trims. So I'll do that too. Okay, so that's all of our signatures done. Now, let's see. Well, ooh, that folded up, that's no good. Um, we're at, well, okay, I'm at 54 minutes and, <clears throat> I've got my little, you know what, we can go through and put these in. Let's do that, and I'll end the video there because, then I'll know if I need to make some more, um, if I'm going to, I'm going to definitely need to make some more ephemera for some of this because, uh, look, at I've got all of these and these, and we made these, to put you know, like pockets. We made all kinds of pockets. So what I've got here is not enough. So I'm going to have to either print off my tags pages again, or, um, find some more ephemera or we'll make some postcards or something I don't know I grabbed a few of these uh, out floral ones and yeah we're gonna need a lot more stuff guys because that could even have a medium-sized tag in it probably huh oh it's gonna be a little too tough So, yeah, because look at we're going to need to find some fun stuff for there. And we've got these big, tall pockets, right? So we could go and stick them. I think I have five of these. We could stick one of these in the front of each one. But yeah, maybe we'll make some... Um, little mini scrappy notepad things to go in some of the pockets to use up some of those scraps that I had over there. But I'll I'll do that. I'm gonna, maybe we'll have another video where we just make up some additional tuck-in things. Because we've definitely got spots for them, right? Like here, we've got spots for these tags to go in there on some of these. Oh, that's too much of the same matchy matchy. Well, and some of these should have, we should be putting, um, let's put some, they need a little pizzazz. Oh, I forgot to sew this up and put it back in that last one. I'll do that off camera. This is some lovely purple seam binding that I just made a mess out of. So that I could find the end. This is how I, when I used to knit, this is what I would end up with. Big piles of messy yarn. And then it, I was always having to rewind my balls of yarn because I would essentially end up taking them apart, trying to find the end of the string. None of them ever just fed nice for me. Oh my gosh, you guys, you know what I just spied out of the corner of my eye? 
If you've made it this far in the video, you get this little treat. This is bonus content and then we'll be done because I'm going to just go ahead and do those. For Joy's track meet today, you have to sign up if you want to be a spectator, which to me just seems really crazy because it's an outdoor sport and you're outdoors. But we'll, um, we won't go there. I'm just ready for all this madness to be over. <clears throat> but um, you had to go online and register. So we got this piece of paper. I'll flip it over in a second. <laughs> And it said, like, if you want to be a spectator, you have to go to this link on the website and for the school that the meet is at and fill out this form and, like, register to be a spectator. So we have to register to be a spectator. You guys, check out this. The length of this. I can't. Look at how. Here, I'll run it by. Look at how long. You had to type all that in. All of that. It is 111 characters long. And you want to know how I know that? Because I counted the sixth time I was trying to enter it in to get it all correct. I was going, you know, with my fingernail along, okay, F, capital F, you know, Q, L, A, small, lowercase, A, it was the mess. And it didn't work. Six times it didn't work. It just brought me to a dead form. Six times I entered the sucker in there, guys. This is like that one town in, it's a Welsh town, I think, right? In Wales that has like the longest name and you hear the weather guys say it and it just makes me giggle every time. That's what this reminds me of. Who in the right mind could get that whole thing? Now, if it was a link, I could just click. It doesn't work. It's paper. <laughs> anyway, that's my funny for the day. The world's largest Oh, just enter this easy 111 alphanumeric characters into your, into your web browser and fill out the form. No such luck. I had to call to the school and get them to, I had to call to the school and get them to send me the hyperlink. And then it, I was done in like three seconds. I don't know why we couldn't have just had it by email in the first place. But you know what? That would be if I ran the world. And if I ran the world, well, God help us. It, some things would be probably pretty good, but... A lot of things would be pretty bad. So that's why I don't run the world. That's why I'm a crafter. Anyway, that's the end of this video. How'd you like that? Um, special one, right? So <laughs> I'm going to put tag toppers on. I'll probably go through and put um, my, like the tabs and the edges on here. You don't need to see me do that. I'm literally just sewing and it's going to be a bunch of sewing. I'm just sewing up, you know, the edge, edge pieces, the lace pieces and the ripped off, um, you know, the rest of these ripped off blotter paper towel things. And I did pull out a few pieces of pastel fabrics that I thought would look nice with this. So I'm just going to go and sew those on and some tabs on. And then when I come back next, we'll have to just make some, you know, the last thing we'll probably do is make some additional little postcards and things for this. Um, otherwise, they're going to be ready to be bound. So then after that, you'll probably just see, I'm not going to go through the whole binding thing um, because I already did videos on that. So if you want to see how I bind my books, you can see those. I might do a video, <clears throat> not right now, but sometime in the near future um, about making up, someone had asked about how I make my curved spine hard cover books. So we might do that uh, sometime in the future. But like I said, not not right now and not any time in the next week or two because <laughs> um, I want to get through this. And uh, then I've got some other projects that I really want to get move on to. So um, I will see you guys back in the very near future and we'll be doing something crafty. Whatever it is we're doing, you know, it'll be crafty and fun and we'll laugh because that's how I roll. Um, and we'll be doing it with dried up glue if I don't close this. So I hope you guys have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, middle of the night, whatever time it is, you know, wherever on this fantastic globe of ours that you live on. And uh, until I see you guys next time, I hope that you are safe and healthy. I hope that you are at peace and rested. I hope that you are able to do the things that you love and be with the ones that you love. And until I see you then, take care guys. And God bless you. Bye-bye.